40mm pancake is my favorite Canon lens. Small, light, cheap and optically excellent. I prefer this lens over 50mm one as it has wider angle of view which suits my style better. In fact, in viewing angle 40mm pancake is closer to 35mm lens rather than the 50mm. On a crop sensor it will provide 64mm equivalent viewing angle. It is made from good quality plastic and has metal lens mount. It is not weather sealed, but I used it in light rain on several occasions and had no problem so far. Lens hood is not part of the retail package. Focus ring is quite narrow and on top of the lens, so it is possible to move focus by mistake just by touching it lightly. With time I learned to avoid it. Front element extends when focusing, but does not rotate what is important for circular polarizer users. It weighs only 135 grams. Autofocus ring is not mechanically linked, it uses focus by wire system. It is louder than USM, but hardly audible in real-life environments. In terms of accuracy, this lens is perfect on my 6D. I have so few focus misses, I stopped paying attention to it altogether. Manual focus by wire is very precise on this lens. I had no problems getting it dead on target using magnification in live view. Already wide open, this lens is perfectly sharp in the center on full frame camera. There is no need to stop down for center sharpness. On high resolution crop sensor it is also good in the center wide open, but gets even better when stopped down to f4 and 5.6. Full frame corners are a bit blurry wide open, but sharpen up nicely at f4 and even more at 5.6. Crop sensor corners are average at any aperture settings. It is a bit better when stopped down, but it seems this lens doesn't resolve as much as I would want it to for crop sensor corners. The centering test showed perfect results, which is a praise for build quality, especially since this is not a brand new lens. I bought it in December 2013. Optical alignment remained perfect after almost 4 years of use. There is a slight focus shift away from the camera at f4 and maybe a bit on 5.6. It will be more pronounced on crop sensor than on full frame. Also, this will be mostly visible for close focusing, so try to compensate for that by focusing a tiny bit toward the camera than where you want your focus plane to be or simply avoid f4 for close-ups. Focus breathing is easily visible, not ideal for video recording. Lateral chromatic aberrations are low. They are visible sometimes, but really not an issue in real life use. They are also easy to remove in post process. Longitudinal chromatic aberrations are visible wide open. Interestingly, they appear only to certain distance from focus plane on my test chart from plus to minus 4. Beyond that range they are not present. This is good since there are lenses out there which exhibit aberrations all the way to infinity in both ways. f4 is better and 5.6 almost completely aberration free. f8 is clean. Geometric distortions are barely visible. There is a bit of barrel distortion, but in real life use it is not an issue at all. Center of the frame is perfect. At crop sensor corner slight coma is visible, but I wouldn't worry about it at all. Full frame corner can produce a bit ugly coma wide open, but gets better at f4. Overall this is quite good. Vignette is pronounced wide open, but is much better at f4 and even more at 5.6. There will be a trace of vignetting all the way to f22, but pancake lenses are prone to that. It is not a significant problem for everyday use. APS-C sensor results are much better. 
f2.8 shows a bit of light fall off, but nothing that I would worry about. f4 and beyond is perfect. Flare resistance is quite good. Slight loss of contrast and ghosts can happen from time to time, but otherwise this lens is pretty much flare free. In 4 years I never even bothered to buy a lens hood, let alone use one. This is how happy I am with flare resistance. It can happen, but only if you position the lens at certain narrow angle in relation to the light source. In this shot there is not a single problem. Here I managed to get a ghost and this one is my personal worst example from this lens. This happened only once and never again in 4 years of use and thousands of images. I guess the sun must be in special position outside the frame for this to happen. Bokeh is usually quite pleasing. From time to time it can be harsh with grass and branches for a background, but overall I really like how this lens renders bokeh. Autofocus highlights are rendered nice and round in the center of the frame. Despite having visible edge, they are actually very uniform and pleasing. They slightly lose round shape at APS-C corner and even more so on full frame, but I am still rather satisfied with overall look. Closest focusing is 0.3 meters and has 0.18 times maximum magnification. Doesn't sound as much, but still can produce solid close-ups on full frame. On crop sensor it is even better. Sun stars from this lens are lovely. Well defined, thin and sharp. For conclusion, I am very impressed how this tiny lens performs. There is basically nothing serious to complain. If this was a normal non-pancake design at twice the price point, it would still be great, but this way it is fantastic. I have it for almost 4 years now and still this is my favorite. If I had to pick one lens only to use it for the rest of my life on full frame, this would be my choice. That's all for this review, I hope you liked it. If you have a question, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my work you can do that on Patreon or buying stuff on Amazon using my affiliate links below the video. You will not pay any more than otherwise, but Amazon will pay me a small percentage of every purchase. Thanks for watching.